Hello again, this is Matt Moser, a partner with Alchemy Solutions, and today I want to cover from within the NetCobol for Windows Cobol Project Manager the ability to create one executable uh, by adding in to an existing project um, another COBOL program that can be called and again it can call um, other programs beyond it. So uh, without too much ado um, I have a uh, program offline here and I'm going to add it to our file. I'll show you both files. I'm going to say add file and it's going to be called testdll.cbl. I'm going to open this which adds it to the file for you um, to your project for you and now when you look I have testxe.cob and the source for it looks like this and it's gonna, simply going to say display this call test DLL passing var1 and it's going to show you what got returned back into var1 displayed upon the console and then exit and stop run and We'll go ahead and show you the testdll.cbl and press OK here. And all it does is move from testdll to var1. And so continuing on, um, there are different environments that you can set up and um, one of them is your uh, compiler options. Uh, and I guess it's really not an environment, it's an option. And so we're going to go ahead and click on your compiler options and you'll notice that none of them are set okay there is an option called deload it stands for dynamic load if you wish to um, use dynamic load it's going to expect to find the DLL out there so for example uh, many systems create one DLL or one object per um, COBOL program some like to create it in one this particular tutorial is to show you how you can create it in one but also something to be aware of. If I have deload in here, which again stands for dynamic load, add, and I want to specify, make it a dynamic call, which is to say that um, it's not going to resolve it at compile time, it's going to resolve it at runtime. And I'm going to say done here, and I'm going to say OK. And so right now, I now have testxe.cob, which is going to call testdll. So if I do a build, just did my build, and if I go to run, um, you're not going to be able to see it off camera because I won't be able to bring it down, but the run will actually fail um, because it's expecting it to find a testdll.dll. So let's go ahead and we'll do the run. Double click on here. And you can't see the before call test the DLL but you can see this message cannot call program can't find it and console windows OK and it generates a JM error for you um, which you can read the log if you want to and I'm going to answer no to this because I really don't want to see it right now and continue on so in order to resolve this problem um, we'll go ahead back into our compiler options I'm going to remove delete my deload and answer yes and bring this back down so now I don't have any compiler options showing up press OK and we're going to do our build again Oop, I'm sorry we're going to do our build again <laughs> rebuild it and close out of this and we're going to do our run and as you can see it did everything we wanted to, including returning from test DLL um, back from our call to the test DLL. We'll press enter to continue. So I hope that covers a little bit of dynamic load and how it's doing its thing, so to speak. So if you have questions, I can always be reached at Matt, M A T T underscore Moser, M O S E R, at Mosersoft.com, or you can always reach the great folks at Alchemy Support. Um, take care, have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.